Hello friends, welcome back and today's video is very important because it is from a topic papillus squamous disorder. So let us see the question. A uh, 27 year old man comes to the physician for the evaluation of a rash on both the knees. So the rash is present only over the knees. This is one point which you must focus most important. Why? Because this is not a systemic uh, you know, involvement. This is only localized to the knees. He noticed the rash three weeks ago while bathing. He has no other medical problems and takes no medications. An image of his knee is shown below as you can see here. Treatment is initiated with a medication that activates nuclear transcription factor. So this is the mechanism of the drug. Which of the following drugs was most likely prescribed? And if by looking at this image, you, you have if you have diagnosed this as a case of psoriasis, psoriasis vulgaris or chronic plaque psoriasis, your diagnosis is right. And the mechanism of action of vitamin D analog that is calcipotrione is through nuclear transcription factor so cyclosporin etanercept and also methotrexate all of these are medications used in psoriasis patients the mechanism of action is different for each one of these cyclosporin it is a calcineurin inhibitor which acts through nf18 and etanercept it is going to act through tumor necrosis factor alpha and methotrexate it is basically dihydrofolate reductase inhibitor so let us see in detail fashion about each of these drugs so our answer that is calcipotrine which is a topical vitamin d analog and calcipotrine is umbrella term in which we have calcipotriol calcitriol and tacalcitol so these are going to activate the vitamin d receptor vitamin d receptor a nuclear transcription factor that causes inhibition of the keratinocyte proliferation and they are going to stimulate the keratinocyte differentiation so the psoriasis basic problem is with uh, excessive keratinocyte proliferation and these vitamin d analogs are going to have a check on this and coming to the next option cyclosporin it is going to inhibit NFAT which is nuclear factor for activated T cells and if you remember the psoriasis is a condition in which there is going to be excessive activation of the T cells and etanercept it is a recombinant form of the human tumor necrosis factor receptor and it binds to tumor necrosis factor alpha whereas methotrexate i hope you all do know this from pharmacology this is a basically dihydrofolate reductase inhibitor okay and in turn it is going to cause ta target ta rapidly proliferating epithelial cells in the skin thereby reducing their proliferation that is keratinocyte proliferation and it reduces the scaling clinically so these are the students who answered it right very good if you like this video please do hit the like button so this will motivate me to make these kind of videos on a daily basis and this is tomorrow's mcq drug of choice for anogenital warts is please uh, type 425 followed by the answer which you think is correct for this question so please do subscribe to my youtube channel and also join my telegram group instagram all the links are there in the description thank you so much for watching this video till this point happy learning myself dr madhuri was sarvam sri krishna pranam sarvachana sokino bhavanta thank you so much